way out west, there was this fella I want to tell you about. Goes by the name of Daniel Proudfoot. At least that was the handle his loving parents gave him way back when he was a little feller in West Virginia. His story got its start back in the early 1980s, just about the time of Ronald Reagan and them Star Wars movies. I only mention it because he liked them. The movies, I mean, not Mr. Reagan. See, this Proudfoot, he called himself the Dan. Now, Dan, there's a name for a nice young Jewish boy. There's a lot about the Dan that made him different. And I don't mean different in a bad way. No, sir. This Dan was unusual in a good way. Some might even say extraordinary. Now, this dude here, I mean this Dan, he lived at a place called Boulder, Colorado. Now, I'll allow that there are some darn nice folks there, up in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, but not quite as brave or as skinny as the Dan. Of course, I ain't never been to Los Angeles, and I ain't never seen France, but I'll tell you what, after seeing the Dan, I'd say he's about the bravest and skinniest young gamer and game explainer east of the Mississippi. And sometimes there's a man, I won't say a hero, cause what's a hero? Sometimes there's a man, and I'm talking about the Dan here. Well, he's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the Dan. The Dan abides. I don't know about you, but I take comfort in that. It's good knowing he's out there. The Dan, training snuggle foxes and communicating real clear with all us sinners. I sure hope he has a happy birthday. And I guess that's the way the whole darn human comedy keeps perpetuating itself, down through the generations, westward the camper vans, across the sands of time, till we... Ah, look at me. I'm rambling again. Well. I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. I hope the Dan enjoys himself. <laughs>